So if you want to learn how to do that cool warp shake like you saw in the preview, then keep watching because I'm going to show you everything you have to know about that shake in order to do it. Before we start, you want to do some preparation, like you want to have your clip ready, like over here, like you've done some Twixer and stuff like that. And then you want to make sure you have some sort of camera movement or like a skill or whatever. So in this case, I did some some camera movement over here, as you can see. So this is what I did. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. You can just do a regular skill as well. That's what I'm going to do right now. And some basic positioning. First, I'm gonna do a normal keyframe over here. Just going to zoom into like 170. Go to, yeah, maybe over here. Reset the positioning. And then for this one, I'm going to put it a little bit in the middle. And then over here, simply gonna reset the positioning as well. I'm just gonna keyframe everything. Open up the graph editor. And now I'm gonna do some basic graphs. Now I've already made a skill and position tutorial. So you can check those out as well. So that's why I'm going pretty fast over all of this. If you wanna watch a detailed explanation, then definitely watch that video because it'll help you out a lot. So now I've just done a basic skill. As you can see over here then you can add your shake so this would make it look like this pretty cool and i'm going to add my own so i'm going to first of all add warp puddle like this and the first time you add it it will look like this and you're you would think like okay how can i ever make it look like the other shake well it's pretty easy you simply want to put down the frequency to one and there you already go. So all you have to do is simply keyframe the amplitude. So I'm gonna keyframe that, go to the end, put it to zero, press U on your keyboard, select both keyframes, press F9, open up the graph editor, do a like soft graph, something like this, where it looks like this. So yeah, that is the shake but it does not look as cool yet. To fix that or just to simply change the shake, how it looks, is you can go to the phase start. So over here, it is sort of like a, like a random seed, like you have in like S shake or dissolve shake or Twitch, like a random seed where each seed has generates like a different shake. This is sort of like that, not completely. This just simply changes the way it starts. So now it starts like this. Um, looks pretty cool, but you can also change it to, um, let's see, something like this, which is pretty clean. So I, I think, uh, yeah, I really like this one and it looks pretty good. And that's kind of all you have to do. So you just have to put this to one amplitude to leave it like that actually. And then you can just mess around with the phase start because all of these other settings you can mess around with them, but they don't look that good if you like really change them, in my opinion. So I hope this quick video helped you out. Please leave a like and let me know in the comments if you want to see like some more shake tutorials. Because I've already made like three or four of them. But yeah, I can always make more because there's many type of ways to do shakes. So that's it. I hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.